everyone i hope you're having a fantastic week basically the week after easter you know and that's an amazing last weekend the weather's been fantastic all week i hope you guys were able to get outside and uh you know just maybe wear some shorts and do some stuff um it's a little rainy today but you know that's okay we need that to get those flowers coming so this week we're in romans okay and basically what we're talking about is we're they're, they're gonna say that jesus has the power over life and death right because he proved to us on easter that he could die and come back to life you know and that we can trust in him we can trust in him from when we're born and until when we pass on and go back to God and Him, right? So we can always look for Him in every spot in our life, right? Every positive and negative and all these cool things that can happen, we can always look for Him. And at Journey Today, they are going to talk about it, right? And it's going to be a really cool story. And then later on, we're going to do another interview. Um, and we'll introduce her when she gets here. You guys probably know her because she's been here a couple times and I'm pretty excited to be able to get a chance to talk to her, okay? So you guys remember during the video, don't be afraid to pause look up stuff, ask questions, you know, it's really cool. And don't be afraid to share the video because that's the way other people can learn a little bit about Jesus. And I think that's awesome. So you guys have a great week. Enjoy the video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. I'm David. And I'm Casey. And today we're talking about, wait a minute, you're not David? Who are you? Casey, it's me, David. I know what David looks like, and you're not him. I don't recognize you. Well, I got these new glasses. Maybe they're making my face look different. Let's see. See what I mean? Wow, that made a really big difference. Now I recognize you. Wow, Casey, just wow. I cannot believe you couldn't recognize me. I I'm almost hurt. I, I don't know what to say, David. You just looked totally different. Hey, no worries. I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, you're not the only one who couldn't recognize someone. In fact, that's exactly what happened in our Bible story for today. But it wasn't just one person. It was two people, and they couldn't recognize Jesus. Was he wearing a new pair of glasses? Um, no. It was actually God who kept them from recognizing Jesus. You know what? I think we should read the story for ourselves. So let's do this. In just a second, press pause on the video, then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play, and we'll see you back here. that crazy? Can you imagine what it must have been like to be these two guys? They're so sad because they know that Jesus has been killed on the cross. They've heard rumors that he came back to life, but you can tell by their sadness that they don't know if the rumors are true. Then, all of a sudden, this stranger shows up on the road to Emmaus. Yeah, but it turns out that he's not really a stranger. And later that day, when they're all eating, God opens their eyes so they can see he's actually Jesus. Seriously, can you imagine how surprised they must have been? Um, yeah, actually, I can. Oh, yeah, because of what happened earlier. Um, no, no, let's just leave the glasses off for now. You know what I think would help us understand the story even more? A challenge. So here's my idea. I'm gonna draw four pictures for you, and you have to guess what they are. But to make it harder, I'm gonna draw while the paper is on top of my head. When I'm done drawing, I'll show it to you, and you can guess what it is. You ready for this? Let's do it. All right, first drawing. Okay, are you ready to see it? <laughs> I'm ready. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. Um, a, a globe. Ooh, uh, that's close. Here, I'm gonna draw in. Maybe this will help a little bit, but probably not going to help. Uh, a light bulb. Oh, yeah, 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 a yeah. A light yeah. bulb, yes. okay. And? Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so it's a light bulb in the middle. Is that one of those, uh, like, you know, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes, uh, yes. signs? Yes, yes, so, yes. So, so no light bulbs. Yes, no, well, it's no, <laughs> no, no light. light. Darkness. <laughs> no light. Darkness. Yes, it's darkness. Darkness. Oh. Wow. You know, okay. that, that was, darkness is hard to draw. All right, here we go with the next one. Uh, 
All right, you ready. ready for this? I'm ready, I'm ready. I think that might have been a closer attempt. I, I'm thinking that is a cross. Yes, that's okay. right, you got it. All nice, right. Nice job. Good, good, all right, good all right. drawing. We got number two. Okay, number two. Ready for number three? I'm ready. Number three. I'm ready. Here we go. All right. I'm not sure about this one. Ooh. Oh. I, I, if, if it's what I think it is, that was a pretty good, pretty good drawing. Is that a, a gift or a present? Or yes, it's a gift. Okay. Nice. We're yeah. Doing it. We're doing. We're doing great. Good You're job. Doing great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, seriously, it kind of looks like a gift. Last one. Okay. Drawing number four. Let's see if we can get it. Okay. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Huh. Ooh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, a, a boat. It is not a boat. Okay. No. Nope. Okay. No, I can see why you would think that, though. <laughs> yeah. You got, like, kind of the... Uh, all right. Um, a, a whale. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a whale. It is not kind of a whale. Be. So here, let me just... Maybe that's where the line was supposed to be, right there. Yeah? Um, is it a mouth? It is a mouth! Okay. Yes! Yeah, I, that like, is exactly I, I what see, it is! I can kind of see the lips there. If the lips were just a little bit, a little bit higher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not my best drawing, I'll admit it. But that's it. You did All right. it! Nice! Good work! Four for four! Four for four! Oh my goodness, All right. way to go! You know, honestly, David, I'm I'm impressed. Those really are some pretty good drawings. Oh yeah, these could totally be in a museum of contemporary art. But hey, that's not the point because there's two really cool things about these drawings. First, they tell the story of Jesus. Let me show you. There was a dark day when Jesus was arrested and sentenced to death. Jesus died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. Three days later, some women brought gifts of perfume and spice to the tomb. But an angel told them that Jesus wasn't there. He had risen from the dead. The women went and told everyone the good news that Jesus was alive. You know what? That is pretty cool. It is, but that's not all these pictures do. The pictures also take us through a book of the Bible called Romans. They tell us why the story of Jesus is so important. In fact, let's read some verses from Romans so you can see what I'm talking about. Casey, I'll show you a verse and you read it aloud for everyone. Let's start with this one. Everyone has sinned. No one measures up to God's glory. Romans 3.23 That verse goes with the darkness picture. The darkness represents sin. Sin is when you disobey God and break his rules. This verse tells us that everyone has sinned. You have, I have, even the nicest person in the world has. The next verse has some good news though. But here is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. That verse goes with the cross picture. God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus. Jesus took the punishment for our sins by dying on the cross. Here's why that's so awesome. When you sin, the pay you get is death. But God gives you the gift of eternal life. That's because of what Christ Jesus our Lord has done. Romans 6, 23. That verse goes with the gift picture. Because of our sin, we deserve to be forever dead and separated from God. But Jesus died for our sins, so now we have the gift of forever life with God in heaven. The only thing we have to do is to accept that gift. And here's how. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. That verse goes with the mouth picture. If we say with our mouth that Jesus is our Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, then we'll be saved from our sins. And here's the best part. Anyone, and I mean anyone, can be saved from their sins. In fact, that's what our last verse tells us. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10, 13. You see, it doesn't matter who you are or what kind of bad things you've done in the past. When you call on Jesus to save you from your sins, he 
answers. You know what? That makes me think of a good question. Have you ever called on Jesus to save you from your sins? If you have, tell about it. If not, do you want to do it now? Press pause and discuss. If you want to ask Jesus to save you from your sins, it's as easy as A, B, C. Let me explain. The A stands for admit. You have to admit that you sin and ask God for forgiveness. God loves you so much, he'll forgive you no matter how much you've sinned. The B stands for believe. You have to believe in Jesus and that he died on the cross for your sins. When we believe that Jesus died for our sins, we can be forgiven. The C stands for choose. You have to choose to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. Choose to live your life the way he wants you to instead of how you want to. That's how you become a Christian, a follower of Jesus. If you've never done that before, you can talk to Jesus and do that right now. And if you want help, talk to your parents or your leaders at church. That's right, because following Jesus is the best decision you could ever make. Well, folks, I had a lot of fun today, and I hope you did too. And I hope you'll join us again next week. Yeah, but in the meantime, Casey, uh, do you think I could put my glasses back on? Sure, go for it. Memory verse for this week is in Romans. We're actually talking about Romans. The story that we're doing is 1 through 10 at um, Journey Today. But our memory verse is Romans 10, 13. And it's really easy, okay? And so it goes like this. It says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And I believe it should be right here so you guys can see it. And that's an easy one. You can save it for people. Romans 10, 13. So don't forget, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So you guys have a great week. And stay tuned because we're going to do a little bit of an interview now. So have fun with that.
we are here with Sophia this week. Um, she's been here before, um, you know, and she did some cooking and some other stuff with us. So I'm excited that she gets to be up here. Um, she's, uh, you know, office spring break now, so she's doing some stuff. Um, and we were kind of talking that, you know, behind us, we're not really sure what goes behind us because every week Todd kind of mixes this up a little bit. And I was just asking her, I was thinking, well, the coolest first question might be is literally what would you want to be on this screen behind us if you could pick anything in the world? And she thinks it should be what? A dragon. Right, a dragon, right? So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And I think we pulled off a dragon before, so that's pretty sweet. So, um, and then I was going to ask you, so... This is kind of a silly question, and it's kind of it's a little thought provoking, right? So, if if you could only if if you could pick one food color, you would have to eat that color food for the rest of your life. So, if it was like corn, literally you could only eat corn and whatever else is yellow that you would eat squash, bananas. So you'd have to eat something that color. That's just an example. So if you could pick one color that would have to be what you were going to eat for the rest of your life or for a year we'll do a year the whole life thing would be a long time so what would that be so you got to think of your food and color what do you think well is it like um could i just pick like a food and like what color is that you to could eat? you could do that and then you can match up the other foods with it so red red okay red. red's got a lot of options because you got pasta in there right i mean I mean the sauce for pasta, but I don't know if pasta being that pasta is white. I don't know. So what would it be? What's 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 your favorite food that's red? Strawberries, I guess. Oh yeah, geez, I didn't even think about that. Raspberries, right? You got strawberries, you got raspberries, I which love is food. awesome. Right, right. That's awesome. So that's a pretty good one. Then, like I said, food-wise, I'm gonna take a chance and say that pizza is red. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I mean, in general. So that's a win. So that's awesome. That's a good one. That's a good one. So, all right. Well, that's a pretty good question. So um, I have another question here. It has, um, no, here's a, this one's, sometimes when I, at night, I have dreams. I dream at night sometimes. And then when I wake up, I don't remember them very well. But sometimes I do remember them, right? So do you remember a dream that you've had, like the best dream that you've ever had or that you remember that was cool recently or you know some people have dreams like when i was a kid i remember do you have a dream that was awesome that really sticks with you yes what is it um well in my dream it was um i was in i was in like this candy world it was like candy land nice and there That's was pretty sweet. these gingerbread men that were a whole bunch of different colors and um i was walking and then there was just candy everywhere right so were these gingerbread men like your size yes oh geez could you imagine like a six foot gingerbread person for me i mean i love gingerbread i love gingerbread and i like with that white icing that gets hard over the top of it oh my i love that stuff that would be pretty cool pretty good like lemon drops and all the other stuff that's a pretty good question it's a good one so i like that um so a, a, a question a, a recent question so sunday you were at church on Sunday, and somebody had a uh, got baptized on Sunday. That was kind of important to you. So, um, can you tell us a little bit about Sunday and how uh, you know about the baptism and how you felt about it? Yeah, you can tell us just kind of the story on how Sunday was for you when it came to the baptism. Like who got baptized? Yeah, who got baptized Sunday? Um, my dad. Your dad did. So that's pretty awesome. And how did he get baptized? Like how did they pull it off? Um, well, they had this like big bucket yeah and it was like silver and stuff and um he sat down on his knees and then um they laid him back oh yeah and then after that he had to sign the um the oh did he sign the outside of it so there's different signatures on that isn't there because it's like a todd will know this it's like a horse trough right basically yep. is what it is yep. so um and there's a bunch of different signatures on that if i remember right so there's a lot of people who've been baptized in that trough which is pretty awesome how how did that make you feel seeing him be baptized man what is, i mean that's exciting i love baptisms but how do you feel about, how did you feel about it um I don't know. I mean, was it exciting? Was it fun? Was it just kind of, you know, it's kind of, where you're like, whoa, he's got to be cold? Because I believe it was kind of a little bit chilly on Sunday to be dipped under at, the water. At <laughs> first, at first he um, said, wow, it's going to wake me up because oh. it's so cold. Right, 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 right. And then they throw a towel on him, right, yes. afterwards, so which is cool. And a lot of times people give him hugs, because a lot of times after a baptism, you get a bunch of hugs. And, yeah. Um, so I know with COVID stuff, we're a little bit less about that, but I'm sure immediate family could give him hugs. So that's pretty cool. So it was a pretty good time. I'm, I'm glad you got a chance to see that. So that's pretty awesome. So, all right, so I have one more question. 
And then if you have questions or two, and we have time, I think that'll give us a little time, um, you can ask me a question, you know, and I'll see if I can choke my way through them like I did last week with Natalie's question. So, all right, so, um, do you like music a lot? Sometimes. Do you like music? So, I have a couple different questions, and um, one of them has to do with music. So, if let's say in your life, and I've seen movies like this, where like, when you walk into a room, or, you know, when you're doing something, if you had a theme song, right? If you, if you had like a theme song for you, like your favorite song was like when you came in a room and they're like, it looks like Sophia's here and there's this theme song playing. Do you have one that you think would be cool to be your personal theme song? Um, what no, do you think? So I'll give you an example. So, so like um, me, so I like, and Todd will remember, on REO Speedwagon, right? So it's... Um, can't you believe it's time for me to fly? And I've always pictured that when I like walk in a room or something. And it's kind of crazy. And you, maybe your mom would under remember that music a little bit better. But uh, that's kind of my theme song sometimes when I I think that's cool because I really I like that when I was a kid. So, um, and Todd, do you have a theme song? I think my favorite theme song would be by Skillet, and it's I feel like a monster. Oh yeah. Yeah, so. I say I saw a Skillet in concert once, and they get pretty rocking. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. they yeah. really do. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. So, all right. So, if you don't have a theme song, we can skip to a different question. If that's not a big yeah. thing, okay, well, that's fine. We'll skip to a different question. So, um, here we go. I've already. All right, so, all right. This is a cool one. This is kind of a. It can be a longer question, or it can be quick. So, if you were outside and you found a genie in a bottle, right? So, if you found a bottle. And you were rubbing it, and a genie popped out. You know, and they, the genie says, you have three wishes. Sophia, you have three wishes. You can't wish for more, more stuff either. So um, you can't say, I need 100 more wishes. But if you had three wishes, anything you wanted, what would you wish for? Hmm. It's like three wishes? Yeah, three wishes. Okay. Three wishes. Um, I would wish to have... Um, this is a hard question. <laughs> it is a hard question. That means anything. You can wish for anything. So three wishes. Well, I have I actually think three. Okay. Um, well, um, I would like to have a treehouse, actually. <laughs> I think it'd be super cool. A treehouse is awesome. That'd I do awesome. have a tree in my front yard, though. Yeah, yeah. That's I awesome. Like yeah, and um, I also had this other idea. Um, there was... Food coming out of the sky like random food. When it ever rains, it has to be food. Right, right, right. Very cool. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs type stuff. <laughs> right, right. And what else? You got one more? It could be anything. Well, um... Hmm. Did not think of a third one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, two is pretty good. I mean, if you got food dropping out of the sky and you've got... You know, a tree house to hang out in, right? Right? I mean, that would be pretty cool. Um, you could also, I mean, there's tons of wishes. I don't know. What? Oh, I know. Um, I don't know if you know, but I always wish, I always wish to have, um, like this, um, I don't know what it's called. It's like, you hang it, you hang two pieces of, like, a rope on, um, your ceiling, and then, like, you net it, and then you stick those on the wall and then it's like you hang on it oh and yeah like a climbing wall type yes. thing or a climbing net type thing yeah oh yeah that would be pretty awesome yeah i used to have a space net when i was a kid so that would be pretty cool yeah that would be pretty cool you could even do that to get up into your tree house how cool would that be so that's pretty awesome so um so it's up to you to give me a question you got a cool one yes i guess okay um, what do you got well what is your favorite color oh my favorite color i like a midnight blue like a 68 Camaro, the midnight blue version of it, or a really dark forest green. I love a dark green. So, you know, I just love it. I just feel dark blue and dark green. It's really cool. I mean, those are definitely my favorite. That's an, e that's an easy question, so I like it. So, yeah. Got another one? Um, one more. Oh, um, um, I forgot. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Take your time. What do you got? Oh, what is your favorite sport? Oh, my favorite sport. So, my favorite sport, you know, that's a, that's a good question. So, I used to coach, I've coached three different sports. Football, basketball, baseball, soccer, actually, even two. So, but I like basketball a lot. Um, 
you know, I love watching football, but I enjoy playing hoops quite a bit. So I really like that. And baseball's fun, but um, yeah, I think basketball. I think basketball's cool. I really like to play hoops. So I would say that was a good one. So cool. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Sophia's here. That's awesome. Her third time. So this is awesome. Let's say bye. You guys have a great week. We'll see you later.